So we looked at um, particle motion the other day. We looked at it graphically. We looked at it numerically. Now, analytically. Okay. So now we'll just apply calculus here. So a particle moves along the x-axis. So we have horizontal movement. So that the time t. So at time t, its position is given by this function here, and this is the position function. So the position of our particle at time t is given by t cubed minus 6t squared plus 9t plus 11. And the first question is, at time equals t, is the particle moving to the right or to the left? So this is a position function right here. Do we want to answer for position or do we want to answer for velocity here? We want to answer for velocity because given this situation, given this way this moves, if velocity is negative, we have left movement, right? And if we have a positive velocity, we have movement to the right. So remember that, sorry, that velocity, V of t, velocity at any given time is the same as the first derivative of the position function, isn't it? So what I'm going to do here is take the first derivative of this, which I think is 3t squared, isn't it? Minus 12t plus 9, isn't that right? The other thing I did was this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take v of 0. And v of 0 is really easy here. Um, when we get to an parts c and d, or 3 and 4, however you want to do that, it's going to pay off for us to factor here. But Right, this is 0, this is 0, this is plus 9, right? So velocity equals 9. 9 is greater than 0. So what? Yeah, so the, so the particle, wherever he is, the particle, is our little particle now. It's our particle, and he's moving that way, isn't he? All right, so that was easy enough, I think. What about this question here? The second part is this. It says, at t equals 1, is the velocity of the particle increasing or decreasing? Now what are we talking about? Are we talking about position here? Are we talking about velocity here? Some, is there some third possibility? Say it again. Yeah, now we're talking about acceleration, right? Because we're saying, is the speed increasing or decreasing? And that's what acceleration measures, right? How fast is, is, speed, is velocity changing? So how do we find that? Yeah, we have acceleration any, at any time is the first derivative of velocity or second derivative of position, isn't it? So I'm telling you this because this could be given to you in any in any way. So let's start off with let's start off with the, der the derivative we already took, which was three t squared minus twelve t plus nine, right? And that's, that's the velocity function. So what we want is, right, we want v prime at t because v prime at t is the same as the acceleration at t. So we're going to take the derivative of this function right here. So take the derivative. And the derivative here is what? Good, 6t minus 12, and we want to know what is the acceleration at time is 1, and the acceleration at time is 1 is 6 times 1 minus 12 is equal to, is equal to, whoa, uh, yeah, you said it right and I wrote it, almost wrote it incorrectly, is negative 6. So what does that tell us? Right, the velocity is decreasing. I'm sorry, the acceleration is decreasing, isn't it? So, velocity, because here's the question. That we have to answer the question, right? We have to answer directly to the question, and this is the question right here. So, so the velocity is decreasing. Why? It says explain here why. Because acceleration is negative, right? Okay. I think that's good for that. Uh, let's do the second part on the next video. Is that all right? Well, sure, that's fine. Maybe we can get Linda to help.